you have to give up everything that you love. Stay tuned. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, transformation that I've seen that was floating around for a while. Of course, I'm out of the loop on everything. I don't stay up to date with my celebrity gossip or popular anything, really. But actually, this was brought to my attention by my wife. Uh, she showed a picture of me, of this guy to me. Um, I think his name is Kumail Nuninjani. I, I butchered that most likely. Kumail, um, this gentleman. Uh, number one, I want to talk about a couple of things that are probably going to be something that needs to be addressed about this particular transformation, and any of these type of transformations that you guys see on television of a virtually a dad bod transforming himself into a, a, a literal superhero because <laughs> I think that was the reason for his transformation is doing a Marvel movie like him and the uh, Hemsworth for Thor and uh, uh, what was the other guy's name the guy for uh, Star Lord the guy what's his name Chris Pratt Chris Pratt that's his name yeah they all make these incredible transformations for these roles and I want to talk about it because I think that that average Joe like me and you I think we can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. However, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This guy, Kumail, he is a Hollywood actor. Uh, you know, celebrity, rich. It, he's got access to resources that most of us could only dream of. Probably has a personal chef, uh, you know, best trainers available, best facilities available. A nutritionist, someone tell it, you know, the trainer telling him when to eat it, someone to cook it, and the nutritionist tell him exactly what and how much that needs to be cooked. <laughs> so uh, he's probably not doing any of the real heavy lifting that it takes for someone to make a transformation like that. However, you know, however, he still put in the work. He made the sacrifice. You know, if you look at the guy before this transformation, he was just a run of the mill, average Joe dad bod character. Like, he was one of the these funny guy, non-sexual looking roles that you know everyone looks at. They point and laugh, like ah, he's funny little little man. Yeah, that's not him anymore. Now the guy is like a GQ eligible and on f men's fitness magazines. And I don't know how long his transformation took. I'll have to look that up, but. It is one heck of a transformation. If you look at what he looked like then, you know, his normal Joe days to the superhero role he's doing now, it's it's night and day. It's really something to be admired and, and, and allotted, praised. Congratulations, good for you, man, because I know what kind of sacrifice it takes to, to really just get yourself back in the wagon, especially if you've never even trained before in any hard, hard form or hardcore training. It's 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 rough, you know. It's fun the first couple weeks. It's great. It's a blast for the first couple weeks, and then you know those aches and pain pains start kicking in. For us normal Joes, you know, you start all this meal prepping. You gotta make all this food, and you just gotta keep up with the with the program. Going to the gym, you know, doing your cardio, get making sure you have your supplements, making sure you have your meals ready, have them ready for when you need to eat them, making sure you're getting in your gallon to two gallons of water a day. You know, this starts to wear on you. And it gets tough. You know, you get tired, you get fatigued, and then you have to deal, most average Joe's, we gotta deal with our nine to five, we have to maybe the side hustle, maybe a business. Uh, wife, kids, if you're single, you still might have some trouble with this. I know I was always swamped, no matter what phase of life I was in, when I was single, I was busy, when, I, when I'm not single, I'm busy, so it doesn't matter. All, all this stuff is tough on the normal average day working man. But again, let's not take anything away from this guy. What he did was phenomenal, and I'm gonna give you a few reasons why you should be able to do something like he did. But I'm also gonna give you right now reasons why you might not be able to, at least to the extent that he did and as fast as he did. Again, I told you, the guy's a Hollywood celebrity. He's, he's got 
resources and all these things, but you have to also remember he was doing this for a role. <laughs> there was a large pot of gold at the end of this rainbow for him. So it's, it's much more, it's much easier to get motivated to get shredded, ripped, you know, get pecs popping when you're looking at millions of dollars at the end of this journey. Um, the average person isn't going to have that. They're going to transform, get abs, get, you know, a sweet chest and people are gonna be like, hey, good job, bro, pat on the back and, <laughs> you know, you gotta go back to your, you know, cubicle job. This is, you're not gonna really get too much, you're not gonna get anything like he's about to receive for this. However, not everything you do in life you should really be doing for a monetary gain. Money's nice, we all need money to survive, but sometimes you just need to do something for yourself. Uh, betterment for yourself, you know, uplift your spirits. Maybe it's time to make a change is, you know, get a, a kickstart to a new phase of your life. Maybe you've been through something terrible recently, or maybe you haven't been through anything and you just, you know, want to change things up, keep, you know, spice things up a little bit. You know, embarking on this kind of transformation will definitely keep you busy for at least a year. <laughs> you know, because this guy went from nothing to something physically in a very short amount of time. Now, again, he had a pot of gold at the end of it, and he had a lot of resources that aren't available to us. But, I just told you a good reason that you should be able to do it, Mr. Average Joe, and why you should do it. And also, utilize tools you have available to you. Yes, the cooking, the meal prepping, the food, all these kinds of things is tough. It takes time and we're all busy. It, me included, I, I, I slack on some of that stuff. But I make up for it by using tools available to us. Uh, one, could be pre-made meals. Pre-made meals are in stores. Um, you can get one of those rotisserie chickens. You can get all kinds of things, uh, vegetables, pre-made salads. Make sure there's no, you know, a bunch of nonsense in there. You can throw away this, the, the uh, salad dressing they give you. Um, you know, keep it simple. Uh, another thing is pre-made meals, but maybe the meals that they come from like a delivery service, like a, um, a home chef or a mega fit meals. I've used mega fit meals. Um, they're pretty solid. I, I like them. They are, you can pick exactly how much you want of each protein, each carb, and each um, vegetable. So that keeps things pretty simple and then also keeps your, your ability to track your, your macros and your calories if you need to do that. Uh, but definitely use the tools available to you. There's plenty of stuff out there. Um, use nutrition calculators, use apps. There's plenty of things to keep you on track and to keep you from, you know, saying to hell with all this this is I'm tired of this and I don't want to do it anymore because that that happens very quickly and also you have to take care of your body you have to take care of your body when you're going through some sort of transformation like this and when you're training four or five six days a week this guy was probably training like Mr. Kumail was probably training like once twice maybe three times a day who, who knows he was most likely training a lot and when you're training a lot like that your body's gonna break down we all know how this works. You're gonna you have, you know, lactic acid buildup. You're gonna have, you know, you're tearing your muscle a lot. So you're gonna make sure you have to keep your body fed with good nutritional, nutritionally dense foods. And you can train hours upon hours a day as long as you're fueling your body properly. Getting sleep, getting plenty of water, taking your vitamins, taking the necessary supplements. If you don't, you not only will not be able to train well, you will start hitting that point of diminishing returns and you'll also start getting sick. <laughs> when you're training once, two times a day, you're training for two, three, four hours, however long you're training, it takes a lot out of you. You lose a lot of minerals through sweat, you lose a lot of vitamins through sweat, and you're just, you know, you're not gonna do yourself any favors by taking the shortcuts. Also, I'm talking about maintenance with your body. Hit the foam roller, hit that foam roller. Massage out those knots, those, you know, those lumps, you know, release the fascia anytime you can. Get a fascia release tool. Um, get massages. I know those, those are luxury items and they're expensive, but if you're, if you're already going through the pain of <laughs> training this, you know, that hard and that long to be a better self and, and go through some, some kind of transformation like that, you might as well go all in. You know, massages are, are, they help a lot, you know, and get a sports massage, get uh, flexibility. Someone can help you with mobility, uh, flexibility as well. You know, the, there's so many tools available out there to help you, you know, that are available to us average people that we can use to do what a Kumail did. And, um, 
you know, what he did was not easy. You know, even for someone that had the um, number of resources that he does, it's just not something that the average person, when they embark upon it, will stick through to the very end, even with that pot of gold at the end that he, he might have. Um, that he probably will have because he had a contract. <laughs> How, so, yeah, congrats to that guy. Good for him. And uh, I want to see more average Joes out there, you know, taking that initiative to do something like he did. Um, you know, the guy, pre his transformation, it didn't look like he had the best genetics. He just, you know, was, you know, an average, an average Joe like, like me and you. <laughs> just a regular old dude. And uh, he turned himself into a superhero. So, you know let that inspire you and let you you know even if you don't have the best genetics and even if you have super genetics you know it's 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 all about the work the time and the effort and the sacrifices you're willing to make to make that you know extreme of a change so and, and also you know a lot of these guys in these movies they might be using some sort of of aids <laughs> aid supplements that we also might not have access to or be willing to implement in our life but even with those enhancements that they might have, i.e. Hugh Jackman, <laughs> dude was 35 in his first Wolverine role and he's super straighty and, and at 50 years old in his last role. I, uh, that I'll say enough, I'll say, you know, I'm just saying we don't get more shredded and then more muscular past like a certain age. Our testosterone levels go down. We, it's just, for, for that, something like that to happen, there's, there's some other things going on, but I'll just leave it at that. This is a positivity channel, keeping things positive. And even if Hugh Jackman does something like that, he's still putting in tons of work. Guy is strong, I've seen him deadlift. He, he, he's doing work, regardless of what, he's, what he may or may not be doing. So, but yeah, keep it, let's keep it back on Kumail and you know, good for him. Let's, uh, let's all give one last round of applause and Let's try to do our own, you know, amazing transformation. And I, I, again, I used him as an example because people love celebrities. Uh, maybe this will draw more people's attention to, hey, you know, that guy's, you know, don't look at it as, oh, he's super rich. Of course he can do that. Look at it as the other way. Well, even though he's super rich and doesn't need to put himself through all this for some more money, he did it anyway. And he did it and he did it. And, and at the end of it, he, did, he he's smiling. And you can rest assured when he looked in that mirror, when it was all said and done and said, Damn, that was that was all worth it. You know, look at me now. <laughs> so, hopefully, you guys will get to experience that one day, and you know, it'll be well deserved. So, but that's it for this video. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell, little bell button, and uh, I will check back in with you later. Coach Tyler, check it out. Peace.